the Minecraft experiments. This is how I refer to each of the four times we are in the game within the course. Minecraft creates an immersive world, so players see each other at work, building structures, and learning the controls. It is as if you were there with them in the metaverse, building a world in the future. The use of the game enables conversation around teamwork and individual growth. I chose the game because it is easy to learn in 20 minutes and the difficulty can be adjusted to address specific problems, observed in the office. It recreates the work environment in development organizations where people often face unplanned work, unknown technology, vague requirements, and need to collaborate to succeed. The game can create feelings of excitement or anxiety for the students. This is relatable to joining a new company, a new project, joining another team or onboarding a new technology. Everyone copes with these situations in different ways. In a two-day scrum course using Minecraft for education, all these feelings are amplified. The vast majority of the students are professionals with many years of experience and most have not played Minecraft. It's been heartwarming for me to hear how students would prepare for the class. The older ones, Marie, connected with their grandchildren to ask for tips and tricks. Parents would keep their kids around while they would go through a tutorial and colleagues would geek out together beforehand. In private classes, it's different. The perception of a gaming during work hours, the VPN limitations, the culture, the egos and internal context of the company can creep in. When the employees think the class challenges are not their problems to solve, they can get distracted. Since a key learning objective of this class is to solve problems as a team, these distractions can become detraction. That said, private classes offer the greatest opportunity for teams to improve their approach to complex problems. Being out of the office reduces the noise found in the workplace and elevates the outcome for the team itself and for the company. It has been the most liberating and empowering for employees when the executives took part of the training and shared their experience ahead of time. Encouraging their subordinates to let go, dive in, and focus to solve all challenges thrown at them. Teams who gel at work and offer themselves constant support are doing the best. Teams with mild to medium conflicts are finding it helpful to engage and try different things in a safe environment. Teams with intense conflicts generally find the class too hard due to the number of challenges they need to solve together. In those instances, there is a lot of complaints on the use of the game for teaching Scrum, they would rather have the class taught in the form of a lecture. In terms of elevated learnings, Minecraft creates a metaphor which can be used by students to gain perspective. This can be help people be an observer of themselves, in Over Our Heads, Robert Keegan. A metaphor is an interpretation, it can be reshaped, reformulated so people can look at it, learn and try something different. During class, I often ask the students to comment on what happened during the Minecraft experiments. I follow up with a reflection question to help them relate their observations to the workplace. Creating links between work and the gameplay helps in reshaping how to approach complex problems. It is important to remind everyone the class is not a class on Minecraft. No one will be evaluated on their gaming performance and no one can win at this game. The trainer's job is to help teams evaluate their own teamwork, collaboration and execution using Scrum. It may happen for people to focus solely on the game and lose focus of the objective of the class. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.